Hey guys, it's Evan back with another CSGO video. Here we are on Mirage. I'm guessing you've uh, played a little bit of Mirage if you play competitively. So one of the things I talked about in my column on PCGamer.com a couple weeks ago was eco rounds. You know, how, to, how do you approach an eco round when you're at a disadvantage like my team is right here? Uh, we're low on money, we're losing the match so far. Uh, the terrorist team who we're playing against has better guns than us, they've got armor. And we don't have armor. No, nobody on my, on my team has armor. We got one grenade. This is as about as as eco of an eco round as it gets. So I'm coming in here to defend B with Y2 Quake. And we're doing one of the things I suggested in that column, which is do something ridiculous. You know, have, have fun. Try something unconventional. Use an eco round as an opportunity to do something a little weird and silly and, and unpredictable. And sometimes you can catch the enemy team off guard. So as Y2 Quake pushes himself into that... Uh, jump position there. We're going to see some people come toward B here through the apartments area. I really like Mirage. I think there's some really interesting play to be had around B and A and mid. Thank you. It's one of the best maps in the game. So you know, one of the things you see people do sometimes on Ecos is they'll, they'll stack a single site. They'll put everybody in the defending team on a single site. We didn't do that this round, but I think that this guy, Saigib, thinks that's what might be up. He thinks, you know, he's seen nobody on B. He's made a clean entrance so far, and we spot each other right here. I'm able to get a headshot him on him with that P250. And his friend is kind of just chilling up here, giving cover, but he hasn't able to get that angle on me initially. So I get a really lucky initial kill. That's that's terrific. You know, eco with a one-on-one -on -one situation, you have a chance. So at this point, you know, their terrorist side is starting to commit to be. They're kind of disorganized. Uh, they're kind of coming out one at a time here. This guy's committed to watching Arch. And look at the patience by my teammate here. He just waits and waits and waits and waits and waits until he knows he's got that kill. That's terrific. Meanwhile, I'm occupying this guy. We're, we're sort of just splitting him up, right? We're putting ourselves in a bunch of a bunch of one-on-one -on -one situations, a series of one-on-one -on -one situations, which is really good. So he's somehow staying alive here with 7% health. I finish off the guy in Arch. Again, that's another one-on-one. -on -one. And this is a one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe he's going to win. Somehow with a 5-7 against an AK. And I make the cleanup kill up here. So, you know, it, in this case, we, we did a good job of sort of being 180 degrees from each other, right? So if someone wanted to fight me, they could not fight my teammate over here. They had to sort of turn his back to him. I think that created a lot of anxiety for the terrorist side as they were coming out here. So it, it ended up being a really good strategy just based on the the configuration of, you know, how they came out. I'm going to rewind the match here so we can watch it one more time at full speed. But I'd also credit that victory to just the, the looseness and, the, like, the relaxed play we had there. We weren't, you know, we, we knew worst case scenario we are going to lose another round and be able to pick up some guns next round. We were just looking forward to that opportunity. We also didn't give up on the round. You know, we, we put ourselves in a position to win. We, we tried something. We didn't just throw ourselves at the enemy uh, in some sort of kamikaze move, which I don't think ever turns out very well in, a, in an eco round. But we also didn't play with, like, so much intensity that we sort of, you know, gripped our mice too hard. Thank you. So I don't know. I, I, I just encourage you guys, when you find yourselves in the eco situation, it's always the, it's always the right move, but it can turn out this way. You try something a little silly and just see what happens, you know? also want to use this opportunity to say I think Mirage is one of the best maps, one of the most interesting maps, competitively and otherwise, uh, in CSGO these days. I just love the uncertainty that uh, the terrorist team has coming out of B. They have to make some really good grenade throws uh, in order to get out of there safely. Oh, there's not so much complexity that you have to check like 300 different angles. Oh man, I got really lucky they were not getting opt. <laughs> I guess he was looking far. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you again next week with another tr trigonometry column on PCGamer.com. Ooh, no clip.